and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Rakdos Spirit. This is our next deck in our Tuesday Brews Day stream. So far, uh, Cauldron, Cauldron of Eternity did not go so well. Um, but uh, And I'm not sure about Etrata either, but I'm really excited to play this deck. I think this could be really nice. What Tuesday Brews Day is about, if you don't know, this is something we started last week, was where we build around rares and mythics that aren't really seeing standard play and see if we can make decks around them. That's what we tried with Cauldron of Eternity. This time, this is Pestilent Spirit, which is why we're calling this Rakdos Spirit. It's three mana, three, two, Menace, Death Touch, Instant, and Sorcery spells you control have Death Touch. Okay, so all of our Instants and Sorceries have Death Touch. So that means we need spells that deal damage. So we got Shock and Carnival are two very cheap spells that can deal damage. So if we have... Like, you know, if we have four mana, we could play Pestilent Spirit plus Shock or Carnival and just be a removal spell. Because, you know, like every, basically every spell that we play is going to be removal spells for creatures. <clears throat> um, we have Pyro Helix. We're playing four Pyro Helix in here because it can do two damage divided as we want. So if we play, if we have Pestilent Spirit in play, we can do one to one thing and then one to another. And then we kill both of them with the Pestilent Spirit. We're also going Bone Crusher Giant. You know, of course, the Stomp. You know, that can be two damage to kill something. And so, like, that's that's our plan. Is we got we got these cheap things to pair up with Pestilent Spirit. Now we, we're going to need more cards. I'm going with Stormfist Crusaders because I think it. I think this could be a good Stormfist Crusader deck where if we're both drawing a card, all our cards are very cheap, so it's easy for us to empty our hand a lot faster than our opponent, especially how we're playing like Carnival here. And plus, maybe, maybe like they draw an extra card, and you know that puts them to having like two cards in hand, like in the late game. And then our Carnage empties both cards anyway, so they don't get like that. So it doesn't really even matter that they get the extra card because we have the Carnage that makes them discard two. That could be something that could happen. Plus, uh, both Carnival turns on Spectacle. Stormfist Crusader is a, does a great job of turning on Spectacle. Playing with these cheap burn spells, you know, we can shock our opponent to turn on Spectacle or Pyro Helix. Uh, we could do one one to um, a creature to kill a creature with the spirit, and then one to them to turn on Spectacle. Lots of ways to turn on Spectacle, because, and that's all good because we're playing Theater of Horrors. I always like with these um, throwback, or the, the, sorry, the Tuesday Brews Day decks, if we can pair two cards, you know, two, two rares or mythics that don't see very much play. So we're pairing it, you know, with Pestilent Spirit with Theater of Horrors. This card's value has gone up because Oko is the, the three mana walker that's everywhere, not Teferi. And Teferi bounces enchantments, but Oko does not deal with enchantments. <clears throat> so again, with having a whole lot of cheap spells, we're going to want more spells. And so Theater of Horrors can help us get more spells there also. All right, then we need Planeswalker removal. So we got four Murderous Rider, two Bedevil for Planeswalker removal, and then a, sh a couple of Chandras in here for extra cards as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, sideboard, we got more Planeswalker remover, removal <laughs> with Elder Spells, Angrass Rampages, and Bedevil. So a lot more Planeswalker removal. We have some exiling a whole bunch of creatures if our opponents are going wide with Legion's End. Um, another Chandra Fire Artisan in here for extra card advantage. If the games go really late, we got a couple of Lilianas at the top end because Liliana's really strong. And then for Drillbit, with all the ways to turn on Spectacle that I talked about, I thought Drillbit could be a good... Uh, discard spell for us to have access to. No Ashiox in here. I think the thing that I think our deck could struggle with is Golos. I think Golos could go over the top of us, you know, make a whole bunch of uh, zombies and everything. Obviously, moving forward, Golos is not going to be a deck, so you wouldn't have to worry about that. Um, so I'm not putting like Ashiox in here and stuff, kind of playing a deck, you know, putting this together with a non Golos metagame kind of thing. Yeah, I thought about playing Flame Sweep, but Flame Sweep would, you know, Flame Sweep would, would just be a sweeper. It would kill all of our creatures also, because, you know, it has Death Touch for all of our stuff. So Flame Sweep would kill all of our creatures too. And so I kind of decided to go Legion's End instead. Uh, for decks going wide, you know, like we, we do have like a, a whole lot of good cheap removal also. Um, yeah, I, yeah, Cosmotronic Wave, certainly consider that also. But basically, Cosmotronic Wave is going to do nothing like it's going to be really really bad unless we have pestilence spirit in play and so i don't really want to put a card like that in in my deck okay 
anyway, let's let's get going. Let's play some games. Hopefully, not get paired against Golos. When yeah, I mean we're gonna attack our opponents. Yeah, I don't I don't have like a spawn of mayhem or anything. I, I wanted to make sure we have lots of good interaction. So I don't I don't yeah I don't have a spawn of mayhem to end games a little faster. Five lander. I'm just gonna keep it. So we're looking for like the, you know theater of horror, Chandra, um, Stormfist Crusader. You know we got like those ten cards that can help us dig. So that'd be nice to get one of those ten. Going 24 lands with the deck here. All right, playing against the red aggro deck. That should be pretty good for us with all of our cheap removal in our deck. Hey, Jakasha. We're doing pretty good. We got Tuesday, Breeze Day. We're playing new decks. Life's good. All right, so we're going to swift end this um, Robber of the Ridge. Hey, we got two new subscribers. Welcome, everybody. Y'all get some hype votes in the chat. Show some love for our new subs here. Appa Smash and some Mexican. Let's do get us to our sub goal. First sub goal of the day. We're going to write that down towards our next 12 hour stream. Um, let's go with the mountain. Hey, y'all. Thank you so much. I'm the best fire starter there is. No problem. Fire can't solve. Darn. So we can get a land there. Okay. So where are we at? So we do a, I do a twelve-hour stream to celebrate every twenty sub goals that we hit, and that looks like that's sub goal number thirteen. Nobody tells me what to do. So we're over halfway towards our next twelve-hour stream. Yeah, with Field of Dead Band, the next overwhelming deck is definitely going to be an Oko deck. You know, a deck with the um, Gilded Goose, Oko, Nissa, Krasis shell. It's over when I say it's over. Well, that's unfortunate. I got no value out of the Chandra. I mean, Chandra was, I guess, a two for one. You know, the Shock and Skewer. This Pyro Helix is looking really good right now. They gotta have shock, right? I'm gonna see if they shock first. Now they're gonna let me go to damage. Hmm. I guess I shouldn't kill the Scourge Spitter, because then that the first striker has shock. Like, the, sh the first striker with shock is really rough. Hmm.
All right, Theater of Horrors. My favorite deck archetype so far. I'm not sure if I really have a favorite right now. Honestly, we'll, we'll have to kind of see like what happens with the metagame and everything um, here after the banning. I don't think I really have a favorite immediately, like right now. I like the mono black Ayara Citadel deck that we played yesterday a whole lot. All right, so that's 10 lands down. Yay. Yep, I agree. The top deck should be in our favor. And it looks like... Looks like that was a good one. All right, good. They, they got a good one, too. Fair play. This is just going to be bad for you. I'm surprised they didn't shock the Murderous Rider, to be honest. I was hoping they were not going to do that, but I was thinking they were going to. I'm not going to play you, Swamp. I want to gain a life. Alright, so we've gone through 14 lands. There's only 10 more. Hey, good job, Nagashi. Um, I, I'm, not a, I'm not much of a fan of... Of um, Esper stacks myself, I don't. I've I have never I haven't been very impressed with the deck. Oh, it's you burning! But very glad that it's working out well for you. Yeah, it's like yeah, so you don't have like this this stock list there. Yep. Go, theater horrors, go. Let's light it up. I wish theater horrors could do one tar one damage to any target. That would be so great. So we've gone through 16 of our lands. There's only 8 left in the next 34. I guess 8 in the next 32, technically. That's just lethal. Oh, you can't attack both of them at Chandra. You will regret this. I guess it wasn't quite lethal. Hey, 
if they would have not attacked with Scorch Spitter at Chandra also. All right, got the first one. I guess a whole bunch of cheap removal against the red deck works out pretty well. All right, so I'm actually gonna be boarding out Pestil Pestilent Spirit here because they can deal with it very easily. Probably Stormfist Crusader also. I don't think I want both players to draw a card and lose a life in this matchup. But then, as we see here, like, like this game's going to go long. We have all this cheap removal. The game's going to go long. So I think I want, like, Liliana, Sean, you know, I want these cards to help in a longer matchup. Which one of these removal spells do I take out? Is it the Murderous Rider? Bedevil? One Carnival? No, Theater is amazing. Yeah, I can see Cutting of a Devil. We got the Rampages now that kill Planeswalkers also. I have to be worried. Like, I'm worried about, like, their Chandras. That's what I'm worried about. I mean, I guess they have Frenzy. I guess Frenzy is a huge problem. All right, we're going to trim a Bedevil. Yeah, it's like the 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 only way my opponent's winning this is with experiment, Experimental Frenzy, as long as we, like, have interaction. That's their card that will defeat me. As long as we have a, a realistic hand. Okay. So I'm putting back... I guess I'm putting back Shock, I guess. You know, Shock's pretty awesome here. But I want to keep the Chandra. I, I mean, I guess I could go to... I could put back a land. We'll just do that. Ooh, I'm going first? Carnival is just better than Shock. Like if you want if you want a card to kill a 1-1, one, one, Carnival does one damage to them. It's like there's no reason to put Carnival back than Shock. Uh, double robber the rich. I guess that's. A, I forgot about that card. Uh, I forgot about that card. No, too bad. I kind of want to save this to try to carnage, but yeah, that was a that was obviously a really bad Legion's end. I'm burnt out. Wow. 
What a horrible Legion's end by me. Now they get to actually get stuff, get cards with these two. Yeah, we got robbed. Thankfully, they just took two lands. Okay, we're back in it. But obviously that was rough. They have a lot now. I don't even know if we are back in it. Because to kill these Bone Crusher Giants, we gotta take damage. Alright, so learn my lesson. That was a terrible use of. Terrible use of Legion's End before. Learned my lesson. So even if I'd hold up a Devil, I'm not really stopping this thing from doing 4 damage to me. So I just got the Chandra in play where we could maybe dig for... Nothing. They should say instant and sorcery spells you control have death touch and a life link. That's what it should say. I don't know why they chose to go second. Yeah, they get the extra card. Yeah, I gotta make a historic deck with Fire Song and Sunspeaker and Pestilence Spirit. Then they can have Lifelink. So I'm I'm kind of assuming my opponent's gonna play the Torbran this turn. If they do that, then I can untap go Murderous Rider, attack for four, you know, start putting pressure on them, kind of thing. But maybe they don't. No, I'd rather just tap out, do that, waste those two cards. That's fine with me. 
during your turn. So I can only play the shock during my turn. No need to try. Way to go, good job. Uh, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. Uh, what deck would you recommend for the MCQ this weekend if I believe Field of the Deck is banned? Um, honestly, I'd be I recommend playing um, Oko. To be honest, I. Want land drops. Um, <clears throat> I would kind of be leaning towards Sultai. Like, maybe check out, like, the Sultai deck that we played the other day. Like, the last Sultai deck that we played. We played it in Mythic. Did, did well with it. Um, you know, it's it's Goose, Oko, Nissa, Krasis. But in, in Sultai... Where you get like good, like I think that that deck works pretty well in Oko Mirrors, kind of thing. That's something that's on my my list to do though. Maybe Thursday. Um, Thursday we're either gonna do anti Oko decks or do Brawl. We're doing one of those two. So they have a Chandra over here. So why'd I put theater in, in this deck? Because I think that theater is is better positioned now against Oko decks because they don't have a lot of disenchant effects. I think theater is in a better spot than it has been. There's less Teferi, more Oko. I want to play the Liliana. Yeah, I'm just going to play it. I'm just going to play it. But I was going to say that I also wanted, you know, like instant speed removal, but I'm just going to play it. Sorry. All right. So next question. Any suggestion for a deck for the best of one decks for grinding the card collection? Yeah. Check out the check out the YouTube channel. We played four best of one decks um, yesterday. That those are all pretty good choices. Um, you know, I went three of them. I went six one in Mythic with. And the other one I went five five, but but the other one I think is is pretty strong and it's it's a a lot more affordable. So maybe one of those decks jumps out at you. Um, there's also just a, a playlist over on the YouTube channel with with all sorts of best of one decks. So there's there's a lot of other ones there as well that are strong. Um, also, so you know you, some of, some of them aren't very good. Rise. You know some of them are better than others. But that could give you um, some good options. What we have over here? I shouldn't have played my land. Oh well. Here, discard some cards. Yeah, I shouldn't have played my land. I could have played this mountain over here. I'm telling the abbots. Maybe I'm not cut out to be a monk. That's no way to treat a lady. Chandra's Regulator. This is a pretty sweet game. Yeah, they my opponent tried going a lot bigger because I had I had a lot of removal for the one ones. You know, like they saw like uh, Chandra's Pyro Pyro Helix in the main deck and stuff like that. So they tried 
going a lot bigger, but that just played right into my hands. Like having turn three theater of horrors was really nice for sure. Do not ruin my dress. All right, one and oh. Yeah, Carnage should have that, that animation for Mangrass plus one. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, uh, yeah. They they said that they're bringing brawl back. Yeah, like there's, there's. They had like some brawl precons and stuff, and um, now on arena next week is going to be a lot about brawl. Man, if we have red mana, this hand's pretty sweet. I don't really want to mulligan it, so I'm not going to. Hopefully, we draw red mana. Come on, red mana. No. Hey, Paul. Ah, darn. I was trying to move the cards around so they couldn't they couldn't choose the correct one. I was hoping I was gonna mess them up. <laughs> Doggo makes Brago. That's a sweet name. No, should have mulliganed. And now we don't get to play magic. Th thanks for the sub there, doggo. Go get him, spirit. Hmm, that's not the spirit. Yeah, yeah, there could there could be a Rakdos deck like this without Pestilent Spirit. Definitely. Yeah, even even like without spirit, I think there's there's a lot good to do here. Oh, thanks, thanks, Yud. Thank you. All right, let's get Sultai Cauldron up and ready to go. It was nothing. Ooh, that's all. That Sultai Cauldron one looks good. All right, finishing Sultai Cauldron. Or YouTube. Okay, and it's up. All right, what we got going on over here? Hardly my worst defeat. No, I don't think this is a dance uh, Esper deck. I don't think this is dance with the Mance. I think this is just regular old Esper control, probably using, you know, Planeswalkers and and stuff to win. I don't know, there's a lot of, a lot of cards they could be playing. I'm not sure what they are. I would like to cast and resolve carnage but i i'm not confident in 
Carnage resolving with their shocking in this blue source. Oh well. Still worth it to play. We're gonna switch spots. Your rider can go to the library, mine's gonna go into play. Okay, thanks. Try and get all these, all these points in. Oh yeah, I was yeah. That's one. That's one I've been pl I've been planning to do for, for Tuesday Bruise Days. Should write that down. Is is emergency powers. Like emergency power, smothering type. From battle to the grave. If I had one more mana, or no, th that thing had two loyalties. No, I couldn't just theater force ping it. Down, down, down. Queen Necromancer is a putrid but effective. See ya. I hope they don't have a counter spell. Yay. Didn't encounter that. Gotta keep those riders down at the bottom. All them gaining life. And killing me. No. Ugh, that was not good.
That was not a good turn. Spells. Um. The deck can chill out on the lands. Yeah, Dance is, Esper Dance is not a good deck. I would, uh, I think this, I would much rather be playing an Esper deck like this than Esper Dance. It's very hey, easy to beat Esper spinning? Dance after sideboarding. I know I'm on track. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Cost three would have had two mana. I don't need this. All right, so Chandra didn't do anything for us. Yeah, that's true. I, I guess what I'm saying is don't, you know, don't be surprised if Esper Dance does nothing. I know my responsibility. Yeah, Ripper. Yeah, yeah, it's same. I <clears throat> we had a lot of success with just like regular Esper decks, um, like last week. And Don't worry. I think those. I, I think you. it's a lot better to be playing those kind of decks than uh, dance decks. But yeah. Certainly, playing something you you find enjoyable is the most important thing. This is hardly my worst defeat. So my my opponent having the blue castle is not good for me. Death by Murderous Rider. It's just all lands. The 2 3 2 strong. Okay. So we have a whole lot of Planeswalker removal to bring in here instead of like the direct damage as we saw like the two damage wasn't doing enough against the two threes, for example. So this cuts it down to 64. I mean, honestly, it probably should be the Pestilent Spirit again. Like Pestilent Spirit's gonna be great against creatures. But my opponent's not playing creatures. Like, last time they played all small creatures that my removal killed anyway. This time they're just not playing creatures. <clears throat> so we just don't really need the Pestilent Spirit. Yeah, maybe, yeah, good. There's a good chance that I should should take out a land. I should have 23, not 24. Definitely don't want to go 22, but I, I could be convinced playing 23. 
Yeah, Rakdos Theater is probably a little bit more accurate of the deck. I would, speaking of theater, I'd love to draw one. Darn. That didn't work. All right, Grey Ogre, go get him. I would prefer to use Drill Bit after they end sights. So yeah, I'm gonna wait. Cause I don't really care about taking Kaya's Wrath. So there's only two cards to try to Drill Bit away. Yeah, I guess Grey... Yeah. Yeah, it's not really Grey Ogre. Now they have five cards, so Drill Bit's a lot better against five cards. I'm getting blue castle. That's so rough. That just means they're gonna just win the top deck war, so I can't just you know before I could just sit back and you know like we could both sit back and I try to fill my hand up. Uh blue castle is such a beating. Such a beating. But yeah, I should have I should have one black castle in my deck. That was an oversight yeah, by me. I, I kind of forgot to put a black castle in here. I should have put one in. Well, that's cool. My army has been destroyed. Come on, Theater of Horrors. No more lands. We want to find Chandra, Theater Fours. Those would be the best cards to draw. They're not really using their castle. I guess it makes more sense to wait on Drill Bit than Caster right now. 
because they're probably going to scry for counter magic. But then whenever we draw a threat, we can go drill bit, they counter it, and then we play our other thing, and then the other thing resolves. Oh my gosh. That was almost really bad. Yeah, I'm just going to kill the zombie before it keeps on doing more damage. We're not finding, you know, like a, a bone crusher giant, which is really the ideal way to get rid of that thing. I'm known for my excellent timing. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Uh, well, I can play around Mystical Dispute. Hey, Radical Guru. Yeah, like, basically, if my opponent wins this, it's going to be because of this castle. Like, they've already put four cards to the bottom of their library. Play. If they have that castle, I don't have a castle. That's why they're going to win this. I need theater horrors. And Chandra. And Liliana. Even Stormfist Crusader. Yeah. Yeah, Mystical Dispute's pretty pretty popular main deck for blue control decks. Oh, Blood Crypt. There we go, that's what I need. I would have I would have the castle over a swamp anyway, and it's not like we've drawn very many swamps. We've only seen the one, so it's not like really that great of a chance of us seeing the castle. Did they fire that off because they have another mystical dispute? Doesn't make sense. Doesn't really make sense why they would play that there. I guess they're tired of holding it in their hand, but they could just discard it to Chemistry's Insight. Like, I would just be discarding it back to the Chemistry's Insight, because I'm, I'm obviously never going to have, you know, let that counter anything. They're down to three. Come on, Carnage.
Come on, Carnage. All right, that's still good. Shields are down. We get to resolve this. And they're at three life. I don't have the mana to quite activate. Yeah, my, my opponent could have played that a lot better. But that's okay. I'll take it. We're down a game. I'll take it. I am the master here. That's fine. Rise and shine. That does not deal with theater for us. Well, we'll be able to kill them this turn. We're just going to be able to put them down to one, but yeah, obviously with the Bone Crusher Giants. Okay. Uh, I don't hate scrying before. I kind of like playing insight first before scrying, just kind of in general. You, you like just draw your cards, have more information with your scry. You don't really need to scry then draw. With it. Okay. Turn it around. We got enough damage in with like our our three mana two three earlier. Yeah, they did miss the, the scribe of the castle early on. All right, game three. <clears throat> uh, I don't want to mull again. I'm not going to. This is not a matchup where mulliganing is good. You know, this is a matchup where every card counts. Got to draw black mana, though, obviously. No, that was horrible. Double black spell. Yay. Had it the whole time. I think my opponent has like negate how they shocked in a little bit ago. So I want to play Stormfist Crusader over Theater of Horrors because I think they're going to counter. However,. Playing Stormfist Crusader lets them not counter and then untap in Wrath. However, <laughs> if they do untap in Wrath, then they're tapped out and we get to Resolve Theater. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, little Chandra. I little Chandra would not be bad in the deck, but I I don't think we really want little Chandra over the other cards. I don't I don't think. So I don't think little Chandra is too necessary. Hmm. That's unfortunate. I should just cast a murderous rider as a two three. There, I didn't want to let them be able to spend the mana. Ugh. This didn't work out well. I should have just played as a two three. Oh yeah, yeah. Winning with theater pings is certainly certainly important. All right, well, we're just going to slow down. I'm not going to... We know that they play multiple Mystical Disputes. 
I'm gonna just not play stuff that gets mystical disputed. Down to ten. No, Chandra is going to be a lot better than Davriel because our deck runs out of cards and need needs more card advantage. Chandra provides that. Getting rid of more cards from their hand isn't isn't what our deck necessarily needs. What's up, Nepper? Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Sub number 13. Thanks for being back half a year. So they decided not to castle. I don't know if that meant that they had counter magic they really wanted to hold up or what. We just got one card left. Go, Bone Crusher Giant, go. Um, I'm not exactly sure if you can, Flax. I, I know that they just added like subbing from iPhone app as like a thing now, but I'm not sure if you can do Prime. Uh, maybe click on the link here, see if Prime's an option. I'm honestly not exactly sure. Maybe somebody in chat knows. If it is. Hmm. Original Q! Hey, what's up? Yeah, doing very well. Hope you're doing well also. Happy to have you around. Let's... Alright, Carnage. <clears throat> All right, at least we'll be able to play Chandra. They have the blue castle, though. And Chandra does not get a card immediately. Unless it's a land. Which, honestly, I kind of hope that this is a land here, because, you know, that is a card. Cool. Yeah, they're they're not they're not too big on the upkeep scry. I am not going to sit this one out. No, I am not making this up as I go. 
Oh wow, that don't just tap out. But yeah. So basically, they they know about the elder spell. I elder spell put Chandra up to seven minus seven Chandra and kill them. I mean, I was gonna try it anyway, so yeah, I was gonna be trying it. <laughs> yeah, that, that that time they probably should have described completely before drawing it all. They should have there. <clears throat> or also just not play. They probably just shouldn't play Teferi, but yeah, they could. They probably should upkeep Scry, but by playing Teferi, they gave me lethal. Alright, 2 and O. Oh. Yeah, and those Esper decks, I've been really liking Finale of Glory. Finale of Glory ends games really fast, and especially post-board, people aren't really... You know, people don't want to keep in, like, sweepers or anything like that. Um... So yeah, I like Finale of Glory in those decks. So we'll put back a Bloodfell Caves. Maybe I should have put back the Blood Crypt and kept the other caves. Could have been at 22. Gruel. Likely going to be casting Carnage. Well, we already got rid of a Questing Beast, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, so obviously I did not cast Carnage there. If they just went to discard last turn, you know, I wouldn't just make them discard too. And I didn't want to, you know, like play something, turn on a removal spell either. Uh, I kind of want to play Crusader, though. Hmm. Alright, we're going to do this first. Maybe they discard removal spells. Because now that, like, they're going to play three drops, right? Like, they're going to play, like, Rule Spellbreaker and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, we got rid of the Bone Crusher Giant. They would have just Bone Crusher Giant the Crusader. Still like that fifth mana. If we would have drawn a fifth mana here, I would have just gone Murderous Rider Crusader. But now we'll go like Bone Crusher Giant Crusader if we draw a fifth land. Hmm. Uh, I did. I didn't like the Nissa there, Jokers. I wouldn't really recommend putting it in. So I'd, I'd rather play Bone Crusher Giant than Swift End. The problem is if they have removal for Bone Crusher Giant. Their hand's definitely loaded. They've discarded Questing Beast, Bone Crusher Giant, and Domri. Their hand's loaded. We're just going to go this route. Yeah, I could have just held up the double shock instead of just using it immediately. Bleh. But then that is risking Collision Colossus. Because, like, if they just go to attack, like, I have to, like, kill their Questing Beast. And then if they have Collision Colossus, I am in trouble. I 
I guess Dormfist Crusader kind of hurts me a little bit more right now. I don't really have the life to give. You just drafted a double goose food deck. That's pretty sweet. If I kill other things first, that thing grows. Yeah, I play some limited off stream. Not just a ton, but I do. Colossus just kills me. It looks like that's what my opponent has. Technically only did four to me. I was like, technically could have stayed by, alive by getting rid of everything that I have, but only for a turn because they're just going to kill me the next turn. This is where we need Pestilent Spirit. Where were you at, Pestilent Spirit? Do I want Legion's End? Or drill bit, or Liliana. I kind of want all those cards. No, well, I had I had the the other Crusader that I had to kill. There's there's two crusaders on the bottom and they they were on the battlefield so I would have had a pyre helix the other crusader so they were gonna have the multiple creatures still and the haste creature in hand that we knew about plus three other good cards. Play Legion said. <clears throat> Hopefully, we draw Pestilent Spirit this game. Pestilent Spirit, where you at? The 
Three, three. The Bane. I like that missing land drops. It's good for me. Slows him down. Kind of the pro I mean, we have to block, but the problem is now I, I don't have a block of requesting beast right now. I could play that as a block of requesting beast. You want to play with fire, huh? This is just gonna be no. Fun. Really. No, my hopes, my dreams. Exiled. No. You think I'm a crazy beast? Where do you see my mates? Busting heads is my bread and butter. Well, I don't. Pestilent Spirit doesn't do anything with Ember Cleave. This just says your instant and sorcery spells have death touch. That doesn't do anything with Ember Cleave. Uh, my spirit spirited away. What's that? Something smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. Bad for you. Mm. I've lived with animals my entire life. Explains a lot, actually. So no haste creature to kill Chandra. Get rid of this Domri. Oh, no pestilent spirit. Hmm. All right, we're 
we're gonna waste a whole lot of cards. <laughs> All these cards are exiled. So six, seven, eight, nine, I could have ten. So I could do four, five, six. <clears throat> I can't just play these two things. I guess I could have just pinged with Theater of Horrors and grabbed Swamp and then kept Mounted in hand. Alright, so that should be lethal. Yeah. That was lethal. Legion's that did look pretty good there. I played a lot of two drops, especially like the two mana three three. That card is annoying. Didn't they have Robber the Rich, too? <clears throat> well, yeah, I mean, we were, we were winning a long game. I don't... I think... I don't know if we need to do the seven to them. <clears throat> I want to play more Legion Zen, but I don't know what to cut. Is where I'm at in life right now. It's like maybe I get rid of one Pyro Helix. We'll do that. All right, it's late over there. Have a good night, Nagashi. See y'all back on tomorrow. But yep, have a good night. No, Ray Day, I'm not. I I don't have an. I don't. Uh... Yeah, we'll go and keep this. Yeah, I got rid of my Magic Online collection. I'm just playing Arena, so. Pioneer does look pretty cool and everything, but I don't think I will ever play the format, unfortunately. Really need that third land. Obviously, the robber took it from us. You call it anarchy for me? It's just another day. Busting heads is my bread and butter. I don't think. Pyro Helixing Domery is worth it. Let's see. If I do that, or I guess I could like Bone Crusher Giant Domery. If I do that, yeah, I guess I should. I should do the Bone Crusher Giant. The street urchins hit harder. Okay, so we did draw land. So I can shock, bedevil, 
Spellbreaker, or just Pyrohelix this thing, but then they play the Spellbreaker, like uh, play it as a 3-3. Three, three. Haste, I'm taking 7 down to 5. That's pretty rough. If I... Guess we need to kill this thing. I bow to no one. Got stuck on lands, unfortunately. It was turn five, we still had three lands. Yeah, that that land, we really need that land that that butcher took from us. We really needed that one. It's unfortunate. I mean, maybe if I just got rid of Domri there that last turn. We still would have taken seven. No, we we're still losing. Hey, <laughs> how does it one win against Gruel with all these over the curve hasters? Is the question. Basically, you just kind of hope that they don't. Like I've played a good amount of Gruel. It's when Gruel has like their good hands, they they curve out with all those haste creatures. You're you're probably not winning. But you just have to hope that you know they stumble a little bit because once Gruel stumbles, it's kind of hard for them to to get back in it. Hmm. But yeah, on Gruel curving out is really tough to beat. Just slamming haste creature after haste creature after haste creature at you. We'll turn Swamp Swamp into Mountain Mountain. Can't we just have, you know, like a swamp and a mountain? Why do we have to have swamp, 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 and then we mulligan and it's mountain, mountain, mountain? Can't we just have like one of each? That'd be nice. We played a spirit, one of the matches earlier. I probably should not have killed the Paradise Druid, honestly. Save this for like another 1 1.
I was kind of hoping they were going to draw a 1 1 here and I would get like max value out of this Pyrohelix. Killing the Rankle and killing the 1 1. Why would they not do that pre combat? Because they could have found like a 1 1 to play with the Love Struck Beast. They found that thing. What? Why would you possibly wait with that? Ugh, frustrating. The mana is what's really the frustrating thing. This would be such a this is such a great pestilence spirit matchup. Such a great pestilence spirit matchup. I don't know if I honestly want to change anything. Keep it. Should Fires of Invention be an artifact, not an enchantment? They they love giving red random enchantments every set. For sure it seems like every set red gets a random enchantment. All right, keeping this because of theater horrors, and we actually have red and black mana. But I'm not sure what would make sense. Make more sense. <laughs> yeah, black. Well, yeah, black red has basically never had enchantment removal. It's on the black and red like those two colors don't ever get enchantment removal something they just don't ever ever get yeah I've, yeah I've, we've we've played a few different night decks my favorite night deck was probably the grixis one Yeah, we, yeah, we tried a, a lot of different night decks. Yeah, I think I like Grixis the most though, because Royal Scions is awesome. We're going to be bedeviling this Love Struck Beast. I need to keep drawing spells. That's such a good one. The problem with playing the Pestilence Spear is they can kill it and I get no value from it kind of thing right here. But if they do kill it, they're not really doing anything else, at least.
It's unfortunate we had to use a murderous rider on that thing, so we just don't have any. You know, like our deck is filled with the cheap removal, you know, the shocks, carnivals, py pyrohelix, and everything. We just couldn't. Couldn't use any of those. Hey, Heaton. Keeping on that three month streak. Thank you so much for that continued support, Heaton. I appreciate that. All right, let's update that. That's sub number 15. Okay, so what do we got under here? I got Mountain. I guess I'd probably rather use this thing. I would love a Pyro Helix. I don't know what that attack's about. Get disfigure or something? Oh, drill bit? Sure. I'm glad they didn't just, just play the Falmire Knight and draw a card. Alright, what do we got? We got Bloodfell Caves, we got another spirit. Um So I think it's just One to you. Turn on spectacle. The devil. That thing. Play the Bloodfell Caves. Play the Spirit. And we're looking pretty good. Theater of Horrors being awesome. So our Pestilent Spirit turned the Stomp into having Death Touch. So we got to stomp. We got to kill the one one with the Stomp because of the Death Touch. I don't know if y'all noticed that. That that Death Touch was pretty clutch. We got to kill that one one. Ooh, that's a rough card to target. Take another two down to three. Not so sure about that one. Not so sure about that one. Probably wanted to target the menace creature. Pestilent Spirit had menace. Hey, Matu. Welcome from Argentina. All right, on the draw, do I want Stormfist Crusader? I'd rather play Legion's End. Legion's End and Liliana. I'd play like two Legion's End, two Liliana, no Stormfist Crusader. That's what my curve looks like. I don't know about Liliana here. Questing Beast, Rankle. Let's get the extra Bedevil in here. 
All right, so do I want one Liliana or the third Legion's End? Probably third Legion's End. Let me get stuff back. Uh, do you remember the one mana red card that you put negative one counters on instead of doing damage when you cast a damage on creatures? That was fair. Yeah, that one from... I think our Devastation, maybe Amonkhet, one of those two, is that block. But yeah, all of your, your instants and sorceries had Wither, basically. Like, they all dealt negative one, negative one counters. That thing was pretty brutal. All right, we got a lot of stuff for little creatures here. This deck's pretty fun to play, though. I like this one. Theater of Horrors has been pretty awesome. This this really should be called Rakdos Horrors, but... Can't stop them from drawing that card. I want to do this because I want to play Theater of Horrors next turn. I would rather Legion's End to this thing and get it exiled. Honestly, but I want to play Theater of Horrors the next turn, so I don't. So I want to use my mana during their turn there. If Legion's End was an instant, I would have been Legion's Ending it instead. Good, no questing beast. Very happy, no questing beast. Took the shock. It's somewhat shocking. All right, can we draw black mana? I want a double legion's end. Black mana. It's a blood crypt. Wow. Jerk move. That really hurts, because obviously I was going to be able to exile that thing, attack him with the Bone Crusher Giant. They're not blocking. I get, I get the Blood Crypt. Yep, Veil Summer is probably the best counter ever printed. One mana counter spell to draw a card. And also for the rest of the turn, you can't target anything anymore. Why don't I just Legion's End the very first time instead of getting this Theater, Hor theater of Horrors in play? This is just pretty perfect. And that Veil of Summer.
I don't know if it's better to just play a Blood Crypt instead of playing Bone Crusher Giant. Basically, kind of depends on what they draw here. Man, that, that really hurts both of my Legion's ends being gone like that. Well, that's better. Alright, so we're kind of back in it. But they still have a lot of power that's putting a bunch of pressure on us. You know, six power here at the very least. Make that more. lands. Many lands. You draw some lands. Thank you. Spells. Okay, what do we have? So, a murderous rider does not help. All land. Gross. We're trying. Okay, so we got a Pyro Helix and a Shock. Shock, Shock. Come on.
I tried so hard. Uh. Unblockable. That's frustrating. We just stabilized. Just need a little bit more time. We need to find Pestilent Spirit. We need our Pestilent Spirit. Uh, Pestilent Spirit, you know, would have let us, like, Pyrohelix kill the Lovestruck Beast also. Let us, you know, attack for two lifelink. We just couldn't find Pestilent Spirit. And then, you know, Pestilent Spirit would have let that shock kill. Like, imagine if we, if you know, if we just had one Pestilent Spirit in all of those cards that we got to play that last turn also, because we had the mana to. Would have been able to kill the 5-5, five five, would have been able to attack for two lifelink. They play their thing to attack, then then our shock kills questing beast. Like imagine shock killing quest questing beast. How how awesome that would have been. We just didn't didn't find pestilence spirit, but the theater of horrors were really impressive. I have to say from this deck, this deck we should really call it Rakdos Horrors. Yeah, uh, I, so yeah, it looks like looks like we could cut a land and probably play a castle. Overall, I think we had too many lands. That's frustrating how we lost the first game, how, you know, like, we had triple swamp, and so I mulliganed, and it was, you know, double mountain, and then we just drew mountain, mountain for our only lands. I think that's a good matchup for us, honest. Like, that's that's a matchup that I think that will win most of them because of Theater of Horrors and all of these good, you know, efficient, cheap removal spells. You know, like, the Chandra's Pyre Helix are just incredible against them and everything. So I think this is this is a... Like, you know, if you play against a lot of green-black adventures, I think this is a pretty good option for you. So maybe another Chandra in the main over that land, or another Bedevil in the main. Maybe not on the Stormfist Crusaders. We didn't do a whole lot with them. Um, but yeah, Theater of Horrors was just awesome. This card was, was really, really good for us. Um, that, you know, we, we finally played against a Questing Beast deck, and that's exactly what we want, Pest Pestilent Spirit, have these things kill Questing Beast. But we couldn't draw the Spirit. Um, that happens there. Oh, well. Um, the Black Enchantment that costs four... I think, yeah, that card's really good against aggro. I know what you're talking about, like the Revenge of the Ravens. It's very good against aggro. But for the most part, aggro matchups are pretty nice. You know, like, look at, like, 12, 12 really good cheap removal. I mean, if you count Bonecrusher Giant, it's like 16 one and two mana removal spells for, for low-cost aggro decks. So we're usually doing pretty good against those decks. There. Um... Maybe just, maybe just an extra Bedevil main. I did like Bedevil. Yeah, I'd probably just, just just play an extra Bedevil in the main over that land. I think that's what I'd want to do. Get another one of those Bedevils in there. Cool, cool. But there we go. That's Rakdos Spirit. This was a, an awesome deck here. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Also, let me know what you think about the deck. And uh, Tuesday, Bruise Day. What... what uh, what decks do you want me to build for next Tuesday? You know, like, what do you want me to build around? You know, this time we built around Theater of Horrors and Pestilent Spirit um, kind of thing. Here, what, what do you want me to build around uh, uh, for next Tuesday also? But that's it uh, here with for Racto Spirit. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.